Well, this is not the video I was expecting to make. I wanted to do a driver's rating for the Dutch Grand Prix, and all of a sudden, this news came through. Yep, Logan Sargent is officially gone. And I have a few thoughts about him. But first, maybe let's just talk about the guy who's gonna be replacing him. And by the way, no, it's not Carlos Sainz. This is Franco. When I heard his name, I was like, hmm... I have no idea who this guy is, so I had to look him up. As you can see from this list, this guy raced in quite a few championships, you know, he has quite a little bit of experience. He raced in some Le Mans series, Formula Region, Formula 4, Formula 3, Formula 2, and so on and so forth. But I think we're just gonna mostly focus on the single-seater Formula Series, because that is the most relevant for this case. So, in Formula 4, in 2019, he did win a Spanish championship. In Formula 3, he came 9th. And then the next year he came 4th. In Formula 2 he was 25th for some reason. I don't know was it this bad or no, but I'm sure there was a reason. And then this year he's actually 6th. Not that it matters too much because he's replacing Logan for the rest of the season. So this is pretty much irrelevant for him right now. He's not gonna be finishing the season. Which to be fair, now that you're getting a chance to do your Formula 1 debut, it just doesn't really matter. Formula 2 becomes kind of irrelevant because right now this guy has and just golden opportunity. And honestly, I, I think it's all came down to Logan for this guy to have this opportunity but he has now a golden opportunity to set his name you know kind of like Liam Lawson did if he performs just spectacularly maybe some teams next year gonna look at him Williams obviously will not because Williams already have Albon and Sainz there's zero chance they're replacing those guys I mean that's gonna be one of the best lineups on the grip not the best but you know a serious one so obviously he's not gonna become a Williams driver but maybe stake or even if not next year, in 2026, you know, there's probably gonna be some openings as well. So right now, this guy has a fantastic opportunity to set his name, you know, on the biggest stage. And whether he's gonna capitalize on it or no, I mean, God knows, we'll see. I don't know that much about this guy, I don't think too many people know. But if you do, be sure to let me know in the comments and the rest of the folks looking at this video, what this guy achieved, you know how good he is because honestly before this I, I never even heard his name that being said though let's talk about logan here for a second first of all my god this is brutal <laughs> Like, poor Logan, I'm feel I'm feeling so sorry for him. I mean, I know why they did this. I know, I understand. I think the thing that kind of finished Logan Sargent's F1 career was this crash in the Dutch GP in the practice three. First of all, the crash was massive. The car started burning. I understand why they would replace him. He cost them millions. Even at the beginning of the season, James Valves immediately said we cannot be crashing. When Albon crashed and then they took Logan's car for Albon, he immediately said, you know, we just don't have that many spare parts, we cannot be crashing, and then Logan said bet and started crashing all over the place. <laughs> well, not all over the place, but, you know, more than he should, especially in the second year. He honestly brings nothing to the team, essentially. No experience, no points, no anything. I get it. I get it. I absolutely get it. And I know that, you know, James was one of the biggest supporters last year of Logan. When nobody wanted Logan, James wanted Logan. But the thing is, at some point, enough is enough, and I get that. But, man, Man, that, that's brutal. That just kind of gave me Nick DeVries vibes all over again. And I feel sorry for the guy. I mean, I just wanted to see him, you know, just ride his F1 career into the sunset. Just finish on the high note. Just, you know, say thank you to the team at Abu Dhabi. You know, shake everybody's hand. Say, hey, it didn't work out, but it was a good run, you know. I came, I enjoyed it, I loved it, I raced it, and I appreciate it for everything, guys. You know, see you somewhere else. Like, it wasn't even on the summer break. They were, he literally came back from summer break, crashed, and the team was like, nope, that's enough. You're done. You are gone, sir. That is enough. And I get it, but man, that was brutal. By the way, let me know your thoughts in the comments about this situation. Do you think this was too brutal? Do you think they made a good decision by replacing him with essentially somebody honestly even newer than him which in my opinion not really i mean if you're gonna replace him liam lawson maybe i mean mick schumacher i know mick crashed every now and then but honestly in the second year aside from the crashes he did all right and now in the vex series mick is doing decently as well and i think mick at least would bring some experience because right now that guy is just franco bringing nothing essentially i mean don't get me wrong i'm happy for the guy for him it's a great opportunity it's a golden opportunity i'm not so sure about the williams i don't know if i would have done the same but I Again, these guys have their data. James loves data. He definitely knows better than I do. So, you know, obviously the guy knows better, but just kind of didn't feel like this was the right decision at this point. Like, is he gonna crash less than Logan? I'm not confident. At this point, you know, Logan, he 
crashes, but he has at least some experience, there's still less of a chance of a crash. So, I don't know. Maybe bring some other, you know, F1 driver from the past that maybe wants to, you know, have a last Hail Mary, so to say. I don't know. I feel like maybe there was a better option for that half a year, but, I mean, that's what they went for. And, you know, I'm super happy for Franco. He's gonna have an absolutely golden ticket if he's gonna capitalize on it, then who knows? Maybe in the next year or two, he's gonna be on the grid. But right now, if he's gonna fail in that half a year, I feel like that's gonna be it as well. Like, you have this half a year of opportunity and if you don't capitalize on it i don't think nobody's after that gonna give you a full season to try so he literally needs to grab this you know by you know what and just absolutely nail it so i hope this guy delivers for his sake i'm super sad for logan man you have no idea like i don't think logan deserved another year i don't entirely think logan deserved this year but at least i could understand why james wanted to give him another year because some of the drivers for example you can sonoda improved like miles from where he started that being said though this is still brutal <laughs> this is absolutely brutal like i said guys let me know your thoughts in the comments i think it's a bit brutal i just wanted to see logan ride into the sunset unfortunately that's not gonna happen but hey it was decent okay ish like i wanted to say it was a good run but honestly I, I i can't say that it wasn't a good run because if it was a good run we wouldn't be where we are right now so anyways like i said i wasn't planning on making this video this was just a, a completely out of nowhere um i heard rumors that liam's gonna be replacing him but obviously that didn't happen so i hope you enjoyed this brief update um let me know your thoughts in the comments if you enjoyed this little video be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time take care